Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we'll be using the stabilizing process and um, we're using cactus juice to add and infuse a piece of wood with some dye to add amazing effects. We're going to be doing single dye and double dye. Check out the video. If you don't know what cactus juice is or the stabilizing process, check my last video. It's all covered in there. I'll link it up above and down below in the description as well. But if you watch that video and you know what it is, let's have a look how we can actually dye a piece of wood. In my case, it will be pieces of uh, poplar burl with some rot inside so we can really achieve some amazing looks. Now for cactus juice, I believe the alumni dyes will work fine. We're going to actually pick up some um, Turntex dyes that are designed to work with um, this resin. And obviously I've got a few, but in today's example, we'll be just using two. Emerald green and Aztec gold. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do a single die on a small pieces of wood, which means the whole piece of wood will actually have one single color. But obviously with this process, you can add multiple colors to your pieces of wood, which can really add amazing effects. I will not be reinventing the wheel in this process. And the guys that I actually learned this knowledge and got this knowledge from are two YouTubers, Zach Higgins and Casey Martin. If you don't know them yet, check them out. The links to their channels are down below. They're absolutely fantastic YouTubers and they make some amazing stuff. So more or less, the uh, technique that I'm going to be using is a fusion of both of uh, their uh, techniques so let's carry on right i've got my wood ready obviously the wood needs to be at a zero percent moisture uh, for this process to work correctly if you're not sure how to dry your wood to that level uh, check out my other video that i've done the link is up above and obviously down below in the description but let's carry on so first of all we need some cactus juice i've got two plastic containers to which i'm gonna pour a bit of resin now we're going to be adding the dyes. Obviously what you can do is actually mix different colors together to get a really unique one as well. But now it's time to submerge the wood in the resin. So what we actually want to do is to put a little bit of wood inside like so. And basically the resin will go inside of the block. Now I will leave them for about an hour so they can soak up the resin with the color pigments. Uh, when I come back in an hour, uh, the small pieces of wood I'll still leave inside, whereas the larger blocks I'm going to take out and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the opposite colors. You're going to have Aztec gold from one side and emerald green on the other. And I will leave it for another hour. When we come back, what we're going to do, we're going to bake it as per instructions in 200 degrees Fahrenheit to basically lock the resin and the um, collars inside of the wood block.
Right, so I actually left the blocks of wood and the and the dies with the resin for about 12 hours, basically overnight. Um, and now what we need to do is to bake the color in. So if you're not sure how the stabilization process works using uh, cactus juice, check out my last video. The link is just above and down below in the description, so go and check it out. But what we're going to do now, I'm going to wrap it all in the tin foil and we're going to put it in the oven um, on 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about four hours. Okay then guys, so I took them out of the oven, they are cooled down a little bit after 4 hours, they seem pretty solid. So let's have a look what's inside. Alright, so they came out really, really nice. Obviously, they need a cleanup, but that doesn't mean these are ready. This wasn't a full and proper process of stabilization, so in the core, they would be probably normal and untouched by the resin because we only soak these blocks in the resin with the dyes. So, inside of these blocks, it's probably still normal wood that is not touched by the dyes. Now, for example, if you want to dye a bigger blocks like these, you can use the technique that Casey Martin does. Basically, you put, as we did, the piece of wood in the resin with the dye, fully or not fully covered, and then put that in the vacuum chamber. So it will suck all the air out from the piece of wood and it will replace it with the dyed resin and that will get a far better penetration than what we've done. And the second stage to um, actually finish our double dyeing, triple dyeing or whatever you really want is basically we need to clean them up and the crust that has formed from the resin we need to take it away. So you can cut it on your band saw, you can cut it on your table saw or sand it away if you've got the patience. After that will begin stage two. Okay then, so I've cleaned up the blocks. They look absolutely lovely. Um, the green inside, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it because it's only a light green inside. It's absolutely fantastic and that's what I was looking for. Again, if you wanted a deeper penetration and the color to be more visible, I would definitely recommend the method that you actually put the piece of wood in your resin with the dye and then whack it on the vacuum for a couple of hours. But I only went with soaking the pieces of wood because I only wanted a slight pigment on it, not too much. Um, but now it's time to actually finish the stabilizing process and the color that out of the two, because as you remember, we use the Aztec gold and the green. I'm actually gonna use the green because I absolutely love the green patterns inside of this wood. So we're gonna lock this block and the rest of them with the green. And as you can see, I've put the weights in to weigh the wood in there, and it's time to put it in the vacuum pot. Now I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump and again if you're not sure how the stabilizing process actually works then I do refer you to my last video as this will be now our proper stabilization process for finishing these pieces um, of wood. So usually when we double dyeing or triple dyeing the process with uh, regards um, vacuum is actually extended as the air from the wood uh, will have a bit more difficult task to actually leave the wood as we already put one layer of uh, cactus juice in hence we had to sand out the uh, outside of the blocks to make sure that the second coat the second layer basically of resin that we're doing now will penetrate the wood uh, inside as well and so that is very important to actually take away any 
any of that resin residue that's outside of the blocks um, but this time it may actually take a lot longer but we're going to leave it as long as it needs and then when there is no air bubbles coming out um, from the wood we're actually going to leave it for twice as long uh, as we've been using the vacuum okay and we are back so the vacuum took about six hours and I basically left it overnight just to soak in so now it's time for the final stage I'm going to wrap the pieces in tin foil and we're going to bake them in 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about four hours And all the pieces are now beautifully baked as I mentioned before four hours in the oven obviously I let them cool down a bit so let's check them out okay then so I've cleaned them up a little bit and now it's time to have a look how they came out so as I mentioned at the beginning I just wanted a slight coloration I didn't want the wood to be just perfectly green inside and I've achieved what I wanted what you have to remember with this technique that uh, not all woods and not all pieces even from the same board will take the color inside equally some of them will actually not color at all or some of them will just go pure full color on so that's one of the things you have to remember so uh, let's have a look I'm going to just use some uh, white spirit to reveal what we actually got look at that absolutely beautiful so you've got a bit of the yellow here and there uh, from one side as you remember we've been coloring uh, one part in yellow and the other one is heavily green um, it looks absolutely stunning it looks fantastic exactly what I wanted but on the same note I've got another piece that didn't take the color quite well so have a look so in this case as you can see it took the yellow color more a lot more than the green one which is quite interesting but it still looks fabulous uh, but on the other side look at that green and yellow it looks absolutely stunning couple of more the small ones really nice so this one uh, this piece was just the um, gold uh, ancient gold color and obviously then we locked it with the green so as you can see on the top here it's all the yellow that went through all the Aztec gold but uh, then you've got the shifting pattern that it goes from the Aztec gold to the green that we pushed in the second part of the process I'm ever so happy how they came out exactly as I wanted and as you can see it's a long-winded process but it's definitely worth it if you want to make uh, fantastic unique pieces with those knife scales or pen blanks this is the way to go and there you go guys I hope this video was some value to you if you did enjoy it drop me that like button down below and if you've got any more questions obviously I'm not the oracle and all knowing but I'll try to answer them in the comment section down below but thank you so much for watching hope to see you on my next resin adventure till then take care